Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Summit and Chatham is brought to you by Cooperman Barnabas Medical Center in Livingston. We've got a packed crowd at Summit High School for the Tournament of Champions semifinals. Top seeded Summit looks to punch their ticket to the big game as they host Chatham. The Hilltoppers defeated the Cougars earlier this year in the regular season. This game was highlighted by stellar goalie play. How about this sequence from Elizabeth Sherman? Two huge stops right on the doorstep. But it was Summit who had the scoring edge in the first half. Anya Wardle finds a lane and buries the shot. The Hilltoppers take a 2-0 lead. Late in the first half, Summit still attacking. Lily Spinner scoops up the loose ball, twists, and scores! Spinner with two first half goals already, she makes it 3-1. The Hilltoppers move the ball with confidence. Ashley Thomas finds Kit Zanelli. With 2.30 to go in the first half, Summit has control and a 4-1 lead. But right before the half, Chatham comes up with a big play. Look at this passing. It's Carly Fraunhoppel with the goal. That comes with only 13 seconds left in the first half. Chatham goes into the break, trailing 4-2. Second half now, Jane Freeman leads Summit in goals scored this season. The junior scores number 53 on the year right here. That makes it a 5-2 lead. The Cougars had trouble cracking through Summit's armor because Caitlin Walsh made a number of big stops in this one. The Hilltoppers hang on to a three-goal lead. But don't count Chatham out off the free position. Watch out for Carly Fraunhoppel, the rebound and the goal. The Cougars are still in this game. They trail 6-4 to four with seven minutes left on the clock. And here they come, Ashley Kiernan takes a stick to the face. There's the whistle. Here comes the eight meter shot. Kiernan does not miss. Chatham cuts it to a one goal game with 146 remaining. They're right there. So here we go, under 30 seconds to play and the Cougars have possession looking to tie. It gets to Kaylee Coughlin and her shot is lethal. Oh, we've got a tie game. Coughlin shot that with conviction. Kaylee Coughlin beats two defenders and hit the five hole for Chatham's biggest goal of the game. It comes with 15 seconds left in regulation. Chatham rallies from three goals down to force overtime. We're all tied at six. Chatham gets a shot to win it in OT, but look out for a lurking Maggie DeFabio. She telegraphs the pass and forces a key turnover. DeFabio gets it across midfield and Summit calls timeout. The Navy commit gives her Hilltoppers a chance to win this game. With time winding down, Summit works it deep into Chatham territory. They get it to Jane Freeman and their top scorer will not be denied. There's the golden goal and the game winner. Freeman hits the shot with only 12 seconds left. A truly remarkable ending. But hold on, the refs hit the pause button on the celebration because we're getting a stick check. After a few tense moments, we get the result. Summit officially wins the game. Seven to six is the final in an instant classic. Jane Freeman's heroics set Summit up with a massive clash against rival Oak Knoll in the last TOC championship ever. I mean, we've been talking all season that the TOC final winning it is just our goal and we've put in the work and the captains have like made it really clear that that our goal is the TOC and that we're going to do whatever it takes to get there. And I mean, I'm just grateful to have a team that's so dedicated and that is uh, has really good chemistry. Reporting from Summit, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com.